Before Chick started digging the long ball, this MLB bro was a top con on the base pass and in the outfield who played with a need for speed. What's up? It's your boy Mark Gray in the DMV. You are wherever you are. Let's check out how they did it back in the day on MLBBro.com. MLB Bro presents Black in the Day. Kansas City Royals Hall of Famer Willie Wilson combined blazing speed and underrated athleticism to make his mark on the American League. Wilson was a world-class track star on the base paths who covered acres in the outfield as well. He was drafted by the Royals in the first round with the 18th pick of the 1974 amateur draft and by 1981, he was the Royals Player of the Year who would ultimately become a two-time All-Star. In 1979, Wilson led the American League and set a club record with 83 steals. In 1980, he became the second major league player in history with 100 hits from each side of the plate, and he also won a gold glove in center field. He won the 1982 American League batting title, hitting 332, and also led the league in triples five times. He also set the all-time Royals records with 13 career inside the park home runs and 612 stolen bases. Wilson hit over 305 times, including in 1982 when he hit 332 and won the AL batting title. He also led the American League in hits in 1980. Wilson was arguably the most athletic player on the Royals Championship Club in 1985, who beat their in-state rival, the St. Louis Cardinals, for their first World Series victory. On the Royals' all-time list, Wilson is still first in stolen bases, second in triples, third in runs scored, fourth in hits, fifth in total bases, and games played. His daring play brought excitement to the field and made the Royals must-see TV. Wilson was also a dynamic force for Kansas City, but he was a nightmare to those in the opposing dugout. And for his exploits, he was enshrined into the Royals Hall of Fame in 2000. So that's how they roll black in the day. I'm Mark Gray for MLBBro.com. MLB Bro presents Black in the Day. Mm-hmm.